Figure out who you are and then do it on purpose. That, my friends, is the bottom line when it comes to your recovery of yourself. Once you recover from that narcissistic abuse you've been suffering for such a long time, and it's become normalized, the abuse. Um, yeah. We've been told, as children of narcissists, we've been told who we are. We've been conjoled. It's been a combat every day of our little lives when we were in the home of a wicked spirit who hated themselves so much they wanted to even punish other people for their existence. That would be a narcissist. So, again, figure out who you are and then, like, be that person. Figure out who you are and fully be that person. And in my AIM system, we assess. You assess where you are and you actually take inventory and you are able to move energy. You're able to integrate and you'll be able to figure out who you are and then do it on purpose. You get to do who you are on purpose. Now, as a child of a narcissist who went on to marry two narcissists and the last one was not married, I did not marry him. And they're easy to identify because they can't keep up their act for more than two months. But by then, if you've already had sex with them, you're snowed because oxytocin is produced as a female when you've had sex with a man and you bond. You've already bonded with him and then you are F -E C K E D over. You are F over. I feel so good to be just like this cat. Happy as can be. Taking it easy. Be like this cat, happy as can be. Nice place to be, a nice bath to be had. Life is good. Growing up, you were highly criticized just for being yourself. Now, as an adult, you walk around with a deep fear of getting things wrong because on a core level, you've been conditioned to believe there is something inherently wrong. You've been conditioned to believe there is something inherently wrong with you. In the art of spiritual kitsune, the art of self-repair, picking up the pieces of your dashed dreams and shattered life, you, my friend, are a superpower because you are narc abuse escapee. Looking at ways to actually navigate your own life's journey and path now that you know what's happened to you. So I'm thinking learning the conversational art again. Conversation. That's nothing you'll ever have with a narcissist. Learning the art of conversation is actually delightful, especially also having been shut down as a child. In fact, the television set, the TV programming, the tell lie, and then you vision it. That had a seat at the table. So the art of conversation is delightful. And to converse. Learning to actually have verbal conversations. Learning actually to use words, but to choose to be tactile if you wish. And to converse. Those are the wonderful things that people in narcissistic relationships don't have. You don't have a conversation with these people. They're confrontational personality types. That's why flying solo is so wonderful. It's a loving opportunity to really love yourself, to pick up the pieces of who you really are, those pieces that were lost in your childhood, because this is specifically to, to those individuals such as myself who actually lived through childhood hell. 
and then got out of it, only to attract narcissists because we didn't know what energy was. It certainly is the divine comedy. But yeah, flying solo is really, it's a scenic overlook of your entire life. And it's a lovely opportunity to like enhance it and that for you to find out more about you, for you to find out more about you. Do what you can to have an inner life and cultivate that. So it's how you look at yourself, how you're going to reconstruct yourself. That essentially is repairing the damage, making yourself stronger and more beautiful because of the weakness perceived or not. The bowl was weak because it couldn't withstand the impact of the hard floor is one way of looking at it. Or the bowl withstood the hard floor and the pieces are perfect so we can put them back together again with gold. So it's how you look at yourself, how you're going to reconstruct yourself. Because again, uh, in other videos subsequent to this prior, I mean, I'm looking at ways to actually navigate your own life's journey and path now that you know what's happened to you. You know how you've been duped. You know you've been with narcissistic partners. You know where it lies. You know that you had a toxic family structure. You see the conditioning that you had. And then you can allow and forgive people, but know what you're dealing with. And then you've got to clear out the grief of your, your body every single day and piece yourself together. <laughs> this is what I've discovered as part of the art of Kintsugi is that you're not damaged forever. You're changed forever. The narcissist did not damage you forever. You're changed forever. What you felt was their pain. So when the fantasy mind wants to say, oh, you could have just dealt with it. You could have taken it on the chin. No. So, okay, this is the message to men, the leftovers online. Women of substance will not be pressured into sex. Your penis really isn't as fascinating or as important to us as it is to you, okay? Blowjobs, okay, they're something you pay whores to do. That's why they're called jobs. Hello? Blowjob, it says it right there in the name. All right, porn has ruined you guys. We are women, and you guys surmise that we're crazy, and we surmise that you're pent-up, frustrated, horny bastards that just look at us as objects of their own erection. <laughs> but yeah, um, men don't understand that porn is not what women do for sex. That's not what they like. Just sticking it in is never going to do anything for us, and um, foreplay is important. It's pleasurable. And if you can't do that, you can't have intimacy and you're not worth being in a relationship with. And why we would even get to this place was because we actually had a relationship. Otherwise, you just want to fuck us. Uh, yeah, so I think we're pretty much done. <laughs> I'm pretty much done. I, I... You, the narc abuse escapee, steps into the glory of your God-given life and you become ever more beautiful in the art of spiritual kitsune, the art of self-repair, picking up the pieces of your dashed dreams and shattered life. You, my friend, are a superpower because you are narc abuse escapee. Hell hath no fury like a narcissist scorned and remember, in the art of Kitsugi, narcs are damaged goods forever. But you, my friend, are not. Your very existence is enough to piss them off. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>
by their very presence, by the way they walk in the room, the way they shout your name while they enter the house. I sure do have some good stories. Because all the world's a stage and we but the actors, but why not make your life a lot more comedic and a lot less tragic? <laughs>